you just make some conversation and maybe the shift isn't that bad. I have this friend, I mean, well, it's not a friend. I'd like to reserve that term to real friends, right? Being my companion. We it's funny you said, it's funny you said companion people. and you like to reserve the word friend because I feel like companion is almost more intimate than friend. Hello? Hello? Hi. I'm sorry, is this for the geck? This, I am, yes, that is me. I am, um, I am a man in a gecko costume. Living a you're, living you're the an insane no, no, I, I know who you are. Nice psychedelic you, life. Mr. Gek. Um, wow. Is it really you? I mean the Gek, the one who's on Twitch? It is me, it is the Gek, it is the one who is on Twitch. What who are you? What is your name? Uh, I'm sorry. Uh, my bad, my name is David. Nice David. to meet you, Gek. Nice to meet you too, David. Where are yeah. you calling from? I'm calling you from Mexico, well, Monterrey. It's Monterrey, North Mexico. North Mexico. Nice. What's oh, I cannot, what? I'm sorry, I cannot, I cannot believe you. I cannot believe that you you answered the phone. Oh, of course. Well, I don't. I. I. I it's so funny to me that people ca- can't believe I answered the. I have nothing else to do. I'm. I'm. <laughs> of course, I answered the phone. I. If I. There's no thing that is pressing me to be anywhere else except on the phone with you. Except right on the now. phone with. With me right now. <laughs> Except yeah, on the phone right. with you right now. I mean, I don't know. I'm a little bit. Um, I'm a little hungry. I could be out eating a sandwich, but um, I genuinely. But I think being on the phone with you right now is the the best. I mean, the the. I mean, I, I guess I could be in um, fucking uh 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 South America. You could Te- <laughs> teaching children how to read, or so I don't even know. Uh, I don't even think of, of all the possible things there's, there's I could be doing with my life be, right now. Th- on the phone with you doing this podcast is is at minimum in the top one hundred, I believe. Anyway, what's up, man? How you doing? What's your name again? I forgot. My, my name is David. David, what's going on, man? What's happening? How how uh, what's you live in northern Mexico? What's it like there? It's it's well, the, it's it's real warm. I mean, it's, I mean, it's really really warm. I mean, I know I know that there's people in Texas that have it more hard than than I than I than I do, but but yeah, it's a it's a really. I mean, there's a lot of heat here in here, so it's quite hard to live in here. And also, I mean, the place where I live in is known here in Mexico to to be a place where the weather changes a lot, like too de- too drastically. So that's part of it. But I like living here in the city. I mean, I really do like here. Uh, I really do like living here in the city. And I'm about to to be two years here in, in an apartment. I live in downtown. You're about to move to an apartment downtown. No, no, no. I mean, uh, it's. I mean, two years ago. I want, it's, it's it's about to be two two years since I moved to an apartment. Okay, so you live in downtown Monterey, Mexico. Yes, I do in down I do live in downtown Monterey, Mexico. And what is downtown Monterey, Mexico like? Is it uh uh is it like very um uh 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 urban? Like are there a lot of buildings and people walking around and all that shit? Lately, yes. There has been a lot of people walking on the streets lately. Uh I don't know how coronavirus did work in other places, but I mean, people have forgotten coronavirus. Like, just a, I mean, in, in my in my opinion, like, just last year. And I, and I know like there there are there are other places that well ended up the quarantine way like way back. Yeah. I went to Mexico, and um, well, here in America, co- coronavirus never happened. Pretty much, um, in it, it didn't. Well, no, I mean, no, no I, that, as that was as, as a figure of speech. <laughs> I don't know if you would call that. <laughs> no, no, a figure no. Of speech, but yeah, I got it. Um, in um, but I remember I went to Mexico, and like we had like we were wearing the mask. I was, you, like had you, to wear the mask, and I was like, I completely were, forgot about well, any of this. You wear a mask. I I think yeah. Oh, I went I'm to, sorry, I, I went to, yeah. In Mexico City, yeah, there was a couple places okay. I had to wear a mask. Yeah, no, no, no. no I'm sorry. I I thought. I mean, I, I imagined you in my head 
with a little a little a little mask like you know like a mask like a luchador mask I don't know something like that or maybe a huge mask or a huge head something like that. Oh, you said like a that's lucha the way mask. I pictured you. <laughs> Not yet, like that's the way I pictured you when you said a mask. <laughs> like I'm, I'm more used to the to the term uh, cubrebocas, maybe, but yeah, mask, mm, right? Mm. That'd be, I mean, that'd be more fun than the f- the fucking shitty paper one that I was that'd using. That'd be way more fun than having, like, stupid mask. I actually, went, I went to a lucha thing when I was in Mexico City. It was f- fucking crazy. Good. Okay, well, I only did it once when I, was, when, I was, when I was a kid. Like, when I was, like, seven years old, I guess. Like, me and a couple cousins were, I mean, they, they took us, uh, if I, uh, I mean, someone took us. I'm sorry. I'm way too nervous for this. I'm sorry. No, nah, don't be nervous. To a wrestling match. <laughs> um. Well, tell me more about your life. What? Uh, how old are you? I'm 23 years old. Nice man. Um. What do you What do you do? Are you in school? Do you work? I work at a call center. Uh. You know, these places where. It's you go and then a company like takes you and well you take phones for them so that's what I do mm. uh, what what do these people uh, call you about um, well I, I it's only for dental appointments you know it's not like way too it's just I just do appointments dental appointments okay. for kids that's dental appointments why, for kids that's all I do yeah, I mean, like, I do the appointments, I cancel them, or maybe I schedule them. That's the only thing I do. Is it fun canceling appointments? Like, do you get, like, a little hit, hit of dopamine when you hit, like, the big red cancel button? <laughs> maybe. No, no, no. I mean, no, it's not that exciting. I mean, it's, it, it becomes, like, something mechanical after you do, you do it, like, a few times, right? Uh, but the fun in, in that work... I mean, in my eyes, lies on on the people around you. Maybe I mean, you just make some conversation, and maybe the the shift isn't that bad anymore. Okay, all right. So you have coworkers that you that you fuck with that you have nice conversations with. I mean, no, no. I don't mean like having meaningful conversations. Well, not not necessarily having like conversations about things that I like to talk about with them. But as long as I have something to talk about, I mean, that's that's the thing. Um, Maybe we could be talking about their things, things that they like to do or plans that they have, or maybe my own plans. Maybe, maybe I'll mention them, yes, as well. Uh, or, um, I don't know, I mean, I have this friend here. I mean, well, it's not a friend. I'd like to reserve that term to real friends, right? So I have this uh, guy sitting next to me, being my companion. And we talk about. It's talk funny a you said. It's funny you said companion, thing. and you like to reserve the word friend because I feel like companion is almost more intimate than friend. I mean, that's right. Yes, I think I. I think it's not the the term I I was about to use. Like, uh, I mean, companion sounded to me like compañero, but no, that's not companion, right? <laughs> mm-hmm. But uh, continue. Tell me about this guy. I don't know. I mean, we just talk about One Piece, and I really do like One Piece a lot. I like that. Uh, I'm not. I'm not a manga guy, or I'm not an anime guy. But like two years ago, uh, someone at another work talked uh, told me about this manga, One Piece, and I love it. Now I like. I mean, I I caught up finally to the One Piece manga readers that out there in the chat. I I'm caught up and and I'm happy for it. I like mm. that study a lot. Mm. Um. Now this guy, all right, this guy that you talk to One Piece about, like you say he's your companion, but you wouldn't call him a friend. You say you reserve the term friend for um, somebody else. I mean, for, for for sort of a different tier. But would you yeah, right. like? Don't would you ever? Would you ever ask this guy if he wants to go fucking grab a grab a beer or something? Would you ever ha- see if he wanted to hang out outside of work? Yeah, I would. I I would definitely do that. Hmm. Do you have Do you have a lot of friends? No, I, I was talking to a friend today about it. Uh, I mean, 
I mean, this is a close friend, a uh, friend that I have uh, since I was since I was like I don't know seven or maybe eight years old. But it's a long term. It's a long friend, right? Yeah. Uh, but and I told I told him that like no, I don't think that I have a lot of friends. I mean, I can count them with my hands. I mean, just with one hand, maybe. Mm-hmm. But that doesn't disturb me. Like I, there's nothing to worry about. Like the friends that I have, I mean, they're enough. I mean, they're sufficient. And I, I shouldn't be. I don't think that I should be explaining that because I feel that like that is normal. <laughs> I, I don't know. Yeah. I'm sorry if I'm. I mean, makes sense. Does it make sense? What I'm trying to say. Oh yeah, no. That make everything you're saying makes a hundred percent sense. Um, Okay. Yeah, that you okay. don't. Have, yeah, yeah. I mean, I mean, look. That's 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 what's important, right? Is that uh, the friends that you do have are like people that you really, really, uh, you know, vibe with. I mean, it's an it's an honor to have one friend. Honest to God, you know, it just is. one person. Um, it's it's, it's in this in the big crazy world. It's an honor to have anyone that gives a fuck about you. You know. Hmm. Hmm. I mean, it is great. I mean, it's great that. You feel comfortable with people fucking around with you. <laughs> I mean, yeah. I'm not, I'm not used to the term, but yeah, I mean, you also trust these people. I mean, and that's great. What is your? Do you have any dreams in life? Do you have uh, 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 aspirations for the future? Hmm. Yeah, I mean, uh, I'm a musician. I mean, I'm a musician, so I like to. I mean, to keep learning a, a lot of stuff. I, I, I like to keep learning. I mean, I like to keep doing stuff, like participating in projects. And I don't know. I mean, that's part of the dream and also something that, I, that I'm achieving. Mm. Mm. I like that. Um, hmm. What do you, are, you said you like to work on projects. Any projects in particular? Like, uh, like what kind of music do you make? Well, um, I'm a drummer. I mean, I, I've been playing since I was like eight, nine years old. And I played. I used to play in the church, but I left it uh, when I was twenty. But I was there, like playing drums and guitars, and I learned everything everything that I, that I know from from this church, right? In terms of music, uh, but I don't play that. I don't play there anymore. So I have uh, I have a break right now, just right now, where I play the drums, and it's called Neophoria. I don't know if I can write that. In the chat. You, what is, or, yeah, yeah, yeah. Wait, wait, wait. wait. You have, wait oh, this is a band that you're in? Yeah, it's a band. It's, well, kind of rock band, I'd say. Wait, right. Yeah, type, type, it, type, it in, type it in the chat so I can see. Sure, sure, sure. Uh, uh, Neophoria. I don't know. Yeah, Neophoria. Neo for you. Are you are you guys on SoundCloud at all? I don't know. I mean. Oh wait, you're on Facebook. The... You're on Facebook. I see you guys. Yeah, so we're on Facebook. I'm a, I'm the drummer. <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Okay. Neo for you. N e o f o r i a. Now, if you, you now here's the thing. YouTube. Like, did you know that if you search Neo for you, Google will say, "Did you mean Euphoria, the TV show?" You? Google will say. Google There's will say. Did show? you mean Euphoria? Yeah. So if you search Neophoria, you have to then click the no search instead for I meant Neophoria. Yeah, there you are. Neophoria, like the band. But you mean the Euphoria, the Euphoria to look at television yeah. show? The Here you are. This is you. Diet? This is you drumming. I'm looking at you right now. This is your face. This is you drumming. You got big long well, ass you're, hair. You're looking at me. I'm looking at you. This is you. This is. Oh, you got I, this guy. I, I have yeah. one. You have long hair. Oh yeah, I had long. Yeah, I had long hair. Like I just cut my hair a few few days, but yeah, I used to have long hair like by then. Hacemos surf punk con post punk. Algo de grunge. Well, I guess that's... <laughs> Pis, Pis <laughs> Cordella uh, y art rock de garage. You, you guys are fucking cool, man. Goddamn, surf punk post punk. I mean, I guess grunge, we are. I guess we art are. Rock. <laughs> Like I, yes, I guess we are. Uh, shout out to my friend Albert, the one who who wrote that. <laughs> um, I guess. 
Okay, let me ask you a question. So, so are, do you guys play in? Are you are you gigging around? Do you play in a lot of in a lot of in a lot of um, different shows? Uh yes, we're we're having a few. Uh, we we had like uh, like three shows this year, I guess. Uh, I don't know when when the I I don't recall when the ba- the band started formally, but it was like last year, I guess. Doesn't matter. But we haven't we we've been playing in. That's great, and we're about to play uh, next month by the twenty something. I don't remember, but yeah, we'll play. And and, we, and yes, we've been playing. We've been gigging. <laughs> That's awesome. Is that your dream? Do you do you want to be a, a full time musician? Yes, uh, I mean, I, I like I like that idea. Yes, I like to I like to be doing music all time. Nice, nice. I mean, um, at least I mean, being being like reasonable, I'd like to find out a way in how to apply music, like in in all my life, on my daily life, and if I can do it, like as a as a job as well. I mean, that'd be great. That'd be awesome. Hmm. Um. What's your? Do you have any bands or musicians that you uh, that inspire you? Hmm. <sighs> Yes, uh, there are a lot of people that have inspired me. Uh, I guess musicians. Yes, uh, there's a, a local one here in Mexico, Juan Gabriel. I love Juan Gabriel. And oh, Gek, I think yeah. that, that I'm about to to get disconnected. I mean, or at any time, I just want to. I just wanted to let you know that and that I love you. I love you so much. Oh, oh thanks, I, man. I oh, are you saying you we're like, about to get like disconnected a, anytime soon? Or is just uh, go ahead, say what you're yes. gonna say. Yeah, no, I mean, I just wanted to tell you that I love you. I, I, I've been watching your streams, uh, I guess, for like four or five months. Hell and yeah. I just, I, yeah, and I love your podcast, and I, I, I listen to you on Spotify as well. I love oh, you, man. fuck. Just Thanks, man. Thanks, man. I appreciate you. I, it's fun. It's, it's, seriously, it is the coolest thing to me ever that, like, um, you know, folks in other countries are listening to this thing. It is, it is like... The the thing about all of this uh, gecko stuff that has blown my mind um, the most. So thank you, man. I, I appreciate you listening. Um, are you about to Are you about to hang up because it's too expensive? It's, I wouldn't blame you if you do. No, no. I mean, I I'd like to I'd like to stay here. I'm just letting you know that it might it might drop at any time. But I mean, I, I want to stay here. With you. I mean, it's it's let, a wonderful me, experience to be here. Well, let me ask you. I have a couple more questions. What? So you were in a. Go ahead. Uh, 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 so you played for a church. Are you a religious man? Yes, I'd say that I'm still a religious man. Uh, I mean, I don't practice it anymore. But when whenever I'm asked that, I I always I always say I always say, well, I I cannot stop being what I've been thought. Like, there's a lot of stuff, of course, that, I mean, it's dated, that might be dated, but no. You still there, okay? Yeah, yeah, I'm, I'm still here. Um, Great, thanks. There's you. a lot of, so, so you were, you were taught to be Christian, so now it's a tough, it's, you, you don't even know how to not be it. Uh, well, no, no, I, it, 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 I don't know, I mean, I, I wouldn't go to that extent. I'm sorry if I, if I, if I might sound like that, but no. No, no, no. Like, my... When we were kids, uh, my mom took us, my little sister and me. I have an, old, an elder sister as well, but only only two two of us. The, my little sister and I took us to church. I mean, n- nor like, nor, nor my 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 dad or my mom. They they never were like super religious. Never like my dad. It's never been religious man. And my mom. Well, she liked Christian church uh, when she took us there, and we we stood there because she she liked it and I liked it. And yeah, I mean, I I like that. I like the church. There's mm. a lot of things that I that I like from church, even though I I'm not a part of it anymore. Now, where do you think we go when we die, David? Oh, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, where do I think we go? I'd like to. Oh, I mean, I'd like the idea that we go 
sober. I mean, I, and now I found myself more comfortable with the idea of, well, I mean, we could be part of something else. Yeah, maybe we go somewhere else. I mean, mm. maybe, I mean, just a possibility. That's it. I mean, I, I don't have a problem if I ever stop existing. Hmm. That's good. That's good to not have a problem if you stop existing. Some people are are very afraid of not existing, but I don't think I that's that big afraid of a deal. Not existing. You were afraid I mean, of not existing. To... Yeah. Oh, that's a good story. Can I can I tell you that? Yes, of course. Okay, great. Listen to this. Uh, so this is the story of how I. Well, this is the story of how I. I realized that I was about to die. Well, not about to die. I'm sorry. That I realized that I that I will die eventually, or maybe. This is a story of you realizing that you are not immortal. Yes, or yes, or that I might not keep existing. Okay, kid, hit me. It was when Michael Jackson died. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so, so it was like this. Um, I don't know how. How much old I was? Maybe eleven. I was I was a kid. Uh, but we were sitting at the couch, and then the news. <laughs> it was like a movie thing, like the news. Or every channel we turned in will have the the news that Michael had died. Yeah. And and then the next week, it was all all television was filled with it. I mean, like with videos and stuff that he had, and I mean. You you may you you can think about it. I mean, you may you, you know how what I'm talking about. So no, of course I remember that. Um, um, so I remember that that was filled with this idea. Oh well, he died, of course, right? And then the next moment, I I remembered it was like I was in this couch, in the same couch that I, that I saw the news with my sisters. I was on my elder sisters. Like I was sitting on on her legs, like my head was on her legs, and she was watching TV, and we were watching music. Like there was this song, uh, which I still remember. It was a song from from a Mexican band, but that was the moment I realized, and and I just started crying. I just started crying, and, and my sister told me like, "What's what's wrong?" I mean, she she really got like worried. So like, what's going on? And then I tried to explain her and. The next few weeks or months, I mean, after that, it was awful. Like I couldn't, like every time I would go to sleep, I mean, before go before sleeping, I would say I would repeat my I would repeat to myself like I might ever stop existing. Like I, you might, I might, yeah. I might not be alive tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. Huh. How did so you it was get with over Michael that? Jackson. How did I get over that? I don't know. Like I just accepted it. Uh, um, I I think that I got wor- I think I got like tired of the idea of being worried up about it. Like because it was first it was a lot of stress. I mean I, I do I remember that as as that like it was super stressful, super. It was horrible, but but then I. I just accepted it. Like I stopped, I, I just stopped thinking about it. <laughs> that's what I did. Like I just said, I said, well, I, I'll, I'll just live and, and that's it. I worried. Mm. I'll eventually worry about that later. And mm. if I die, well, then I'll die. I, I can control that. I got. Wow. I, I, I used to repeat that to myself. I can control that thing. So you totally can't, though. Yes, I mean we cannot. I'm sorry. <laughs> Um, oh, you used to, you used to, oh, you, used to you, say? you used to repeat yours to yourself. I cannot control that. Yes, I cannot okay. control that. I'm sorry. Right, right, right. Fascinating, Michael Jackson. And so before, so before my, so what? You were 11 years old. So from ages, so so before Michael Jackson died, you didn't even realize, or you did, like that was your first kind of brush with. Oh, I'm, I'm, I am mortal. Yeah, <laughs> that the the me, shit, uh, I could stop existing. Yes, it it was that moment. It was that moment. Mm. 
Um, and um, how do you feel now about the fact that you uh, aren't going to exist? You just have accepted that you cannot control it? Yes, I can say that I have accepted it. Uh, I mean, I and I don't want to stop existing, of course, but I mean, uh, I want to keep living and that's it. I mean, it's it's a matter of not worrying it. Not to not worry about the wrong thing. I think it's more that in my head and the thing that I keep repeating myself. Uh, that's what helps to accept it. Mm. Mm. David, David, David. That's a fascinating story. <sighs> yuck, yuck, yuck. How are you feeling right now? Feeling good. Uh, feel more relaxed. Good. You were very nervous um, at the end, but we've been on the phone for, I think, like a half hour or something like that. Are you, are you feeling better? Really? Yes, I, I feel better, Jack. Um, I don't know. I mean, I I had the idea that I might, that I could call you eventually, that someday I'll call Jack. Maybe I'll be there for like 30 minutes, an hour, or maybe he, he'll never get the phone, but... Uh, now that I have you here, I'm sorry, I have to say it. I, I think I thought that I could, that there would be a lot of things that I could talk to you about, that I would like to talk to you about. Is there anything else that you wanted to talk about before before we go? No. I mean, you know, now I realize that it was perfect. I mean, the way it was, this, this, the things that were said. Yeah. I, I mean, I, they were they were the thing that they were. So I well, I, I mean, think so I, not too. Not to sound super hippie, but, but yeah, I'm happy. I'm happy for for what it happened, what it was. Oh, yeah. I, well, I think so too. I think we covered some good ground. We got Michael Jackson making you realize that you were gonna die. <laughs> um, we learned about your acquaintance at the uh, no, your companion at the call center. We got to check out the band. I feel yeah. like I feel like I know. I feel like I got a. a, a a nice juicy slice of your life in here. This was this was fun, man. Thanks for calling and sharing. Thank you, thank you for listening, Gek. And thank, thank you. I love you, man. Hey, I love you too, man. You uh, you take care. Any any final thoughts, feelings, or sentiments you'd like to share before we get, uh, kick you out of here? I'm happy. I'm happy. Good man. I'm happy. And good man. And I'll, and I'll keep it. And I'll keep it. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll, I'll get a hold of it. I mean, not get a. That's not the word. That, that's not what I'm trying to say. You'll, I'll, you'll, you'll, I'll you'll keep it. hold I'll take of it. it. You'll take yeah, it. Yeah, that's what. You'll run with yeah, it. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, yeah, hold on. Hold on to it for as long as you fucking can, man. Jesus. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> Love you, man. Hey, hey, take care, David. <laughs> thank you, man. You take care. Love you, Gag. Bye, bye. Mucho gusto, amigo. That was David. I, I usually I don't say I love you back, but I had to this time because David is such a nice, sweet guy. He was so nice to me, and he's such a nice guy. And I never, in a thousand trillion fucking years, thought that um, any uh, you know folks in Monterey, Mexico, would be listening to this thing. So uh, thank you, David, for calling and sharing. Call from Alex. Alex. Hi. What's up? Not much. What are you up to? Uh, I'm just uh, in a VC with friends, just chilling. What's up? Um, what is there anything you wanted to talk about today? Uh, yeah. Wait. Yo, wait. Hold on. Is this Lyle? Who did you think it was? Um, no. Uh, I. D- I, I didn't know if you were the call screener or not. Holy shit. Wait, I'm in? Like, I'm in, I'm in. Well, you're a call, and you're talking to me, and I'm screening you, so I'm somewhat of a call screener. I'm screening oh your god. call right now. Holy shit. Hi. Oh my god. Wow. What's up? Uh, hey. Hey. Uh, I'm good. Okay, I'm good. Uh, I, I didn't ask you how you were, but I'm glad to know oh. that you're good. Sorry. Sorry, I don't know okay. why I said that. I was just being a dick, but you know what the thing? It's fun sometimes. It's just fun. I don't know why. But anyway, what's up? What's up, man? How are you? Um, I'm good. Uh, this is me asking. You can yeah. Tell me. Um. All right, you're no, talking to people in the thing. Um. No, no, no go no, ahead. No, 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 you, no. you, t- you I'm, talk. I'm, you talk. 
you talk. I'm sorry. I'm dog. sorry. I'm I'm not talking to them. I'm gone. Uh, fuck that. I'm here. Okay. Uh, I do have a story, and I like have um, a dilemma that I would like um, your opinion on. Um, okay, let's hear it's it. It's kind of a long story, but um, okay. So to start it, tell me. Um, um, okay, tell me the long story. Can you tell mm-hmm. me the long story in two minutes? I'll do my best. Not okay. really, but I'll do my best. Um, All right, let's hear it. Let's try. <laughs> um, okay, so I have a childhood friend who um, me and them were basically friends uh, since, like, preschool, probably. Um, and we pretty much, like, grew up together. But um, as we started to get older, we started to, like, argue a lot. And we would clash a lot of our personalities. We didn't get along. Um, they're super eccentric. Um, and I started to kind of get more into like going to school, high school, college. Um, they kind of started to dive into like alcohol, alcoholism, and like just uh, just doing a lot of drugs and shit. Which at the time, like freshman year of high school, um, you know, me and them, we did a lot of shit together. But, uh, this is man. I can't do this in two minutes, man. <laughs> what? Yeah, you can. Well, all right. Just you. You know, you got okay. You have a friend. Your friend was getting at the drugs. Yeah. Okay. Okay. You were okay. doing homework. They ended up and then getting, just, okay. So we yes. Started Tell to me, really and then divided. just we got, go ahead. You know, we go started ahead. to split, and um, right. so uh, we started to split up, and eventually um, his life kind of caught up with him, and he sure. ended up going to jail. Um, uh. So the story. Um, the story of what he told me, um, is really funny and interesting, but, um, all I know is that he lied to me about what he was sent in for and, um, basically was in jail for five months or so. Uh, and he was like, at this time he would have been, um, he was a minor, like he was underage. He was like 16 or 17, but, uh, I'm an NC. So, um, hear people under the age of 18 i think i forget there's an age that like i don't know you wouldn't expect it but he was basically treated as an adult um so he was in jail for five months and then he was sent to some kind of rehab camp um okay um and so i'm very conflicted because yeah i've left out a lot of details but um I, i feel very conflicted about it because um on the one hand this is like a childhood friend but um and like you know i still like literally like i think about him all the time and i like want to see him again but at the same time uh our lives are so different now than they were like before he got arrested like even before like before he got arrested we were already getting like divided and arguing about shit um so okay uh yeah so what does this all have to do with you um well, for me, currently, I'm not a person that has, like, a lot of friends. I mean, you know, I um, I just graduated from, like, a community college. Like, um, you know, I was going during COVID, so not really needing a lot of people. So my, my list of friends is rather low. Like, I have some, okay. <clears throat> I have some online friends, but, um, you know, in general... Okay. At least for in in person, this was a very okay. Like I'm gonna I'm gonna my, interrupt you real quick. I'm gonna interrupt you mm-hmm. real quick. Um, okay, I'm gonna try to summarize this thing. You have this. Fr- how old are you, by the way? Uh, I'm 21. You're 21. Okay, and this friend, how old is this friend? Um, uh, we're the same age. Like he, he he was born like two weeks before me. So okay, yeah. that's cute that you guys know each other's birthdays. Um, yeah. <laughs> Uh, okay, and uh, do you guys live in the same state? Yes. So, well, city? actually, um, in the same city that I know of. For all I know, he could be across the country by now. Like, uh, I know. Talked to him Wait like, a minute. So, is this guy still in jail? No, 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 no. So he he went to that rehab shit. Um, uh-huh. Do you want me to preface because I think I should tell you at the very least, like what he lied about, because it's kind of it adds a layer to this. Um, okay, what did he lie about? Okay, so um, he told me, uh, I'll just say that he uh, he told me that he was arrested for bootlegging. Um, I told you he was eccentric, I won't get into it, but he was arrested for bootlegging. Um, and it turned out that he actually was 
sent to a sex rehab. Um, and the thing is, why would you get sent to a sex rehab for bootlegging? Now, let me preface, bootlegging is definitely the type of crime that he would have committed. So it actually is believable because he did make his own alcohol. So, okay. yeah. But the sex crime thing, you know, that's, that's a big thing. I mean, um, uh, he was sent to a kind of rehab camp. That's all I really know. It was like Mormon okay. and was in Utah. Are you guys Mormons? No, 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 no. I'm actually as far from religious currently than I've ever been in my life. But, um, yeah. I, okay. yeah that's here's, the thing. here's the thing. Here's why, I, here's why I asked you to explain it in two minutes. I wasn't just being mm -hmm. a I mean, I was being a dick a little bit, but I don't think I was just being <laughs> a dick. Because that thing no, is ultimately, fine. well, because here's the thing. It's the crux of this issue. I, mm -hmm. fi I, I find, I'm not a genius of any kind, but I always mm -hmm. find that, like, when, when it comes to stuff like this, the 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 de you know the crux of the issue is never in the details. It's in the yeah. the, the macro. So look, mm -hmm. um, do you, so you don't, is this guy still in jail? No. So I for do no. He came back. I think a couple. I would say two or three years ago. Um, right. So it's been a, it's been a while. Um, do yeah. you have the desire to be friends with him? Um, because uh, let me tell you this. Let me tell you this. I when I I when you were, mm -hmm. when you were talking about it earlier, you were saying I'm low on friends, yeah. and wanting to be friends with somebody because you don't have anyone else is mm -hmm. a terrible reason to be friends with somebody. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, that's a terrible reason. Being friends with somebody out of scarce there's eight billion people on the planet Earth. Mm -hmm. Um, wanting to be friends with somebody because you don't have anyone else to talk to is a terrible reason. Yeah. Twenty friends. It, so I yeah. hope you're not wanting to be friends with him for that reason. But no. look, if you love the look, if you love mm -hmm. this guy and you want yeah. to be friends with him, that's a different story. Yeah, I will say, and you know, uh, very often I hear the whole thing. Oh well, you know, when you get older, it's harder to make friends. Um, and I, you know, that might be true. That might not. But, no, that's um, a that's a lie. That's a okay. lie. It's the same amount of difficulty to make friends. At least I believe. Mm -hmm. uh, at any age, and I could go into I could go into all this stuff, but let's focus on this yeah. one friend that you have. I've just never really had any best friends. I haven't, you know. Mm -hmm. This was a childhood friend. You know, if I needed to hang out with someone, it would be them. I would sleep over at their house like every fucking weekend. You know, um, so it's hard. It's a hard brother. Walk. Okay, look, two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I keep interrupting you, but I want to hone fine. in on this just real mm -hmm. quick. You shouldn't be friends with this person just because. You need friends. And you also shouldn't be friends with this person just because you guys used to be friends. Yeah. Right? So, like, look, I'm asking you. I'm not asking you. Uh, 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 I'm not asking 16-year-old you. I'm asking you mm -hmm. as an adult. Do you want to be friends with this guy? Damn. Yeah. Uh, I don't think so. All right. Well, then, uh, then you don't have to be. Yeah. Yeah. Um, should I talk to him? Should I reach out at least and just say like, because I just feel bad ending a friendship like that because I haven't really, I don't know. That's something that kind of lingers. I feel like it's like an op open wound kind of thing. Okay. Should you reach out to him? I mean, yeah, sure. Why not? Hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And I think, I mean, I think I, I'll be honest, I think I could still be friends with them. It's just I need to okay. know what their current life is like because that's the thing is um, the only reason I, I'm still hesitant is because it seems like he hasn't tried to fix his life because um, okay. the only time that he would reach out to me after getting back from jail is he would like ask, hey, what's up? You want to smoke? You want to do some shit? And, you know, by the time he got out, I was so far past from my days of just like, you know, just like smoking and drinking and just like wandering the streets and shit. Like, I'm I, I'm so far past that now. Um, so, like, just thinking about if that's what he expects, you know, I'm not I'm not for it in any way. Um, but, yeah, so. Um. Look, man, if you want to reach out to this guy, then then I guess I just what's bothering mm -hmm. what's bothering me is like 
the the melodrama behind it, which yeah. seems to be stemming from. And I'm playing pretend therapist here, but it seems mm -hmm. to be stemming from living in the past, yeah, and clinging to it, and uh, this like scarcity mindset that you have towards friends, yeah. Um, but like, look, if you, again, there, look, some people, look, there's some folks like I have, I have friends, I have a, I have a friend that I hung out with very recently who I hadn't spoken to in, God, like six years or something like that well but, you know look i love i love him i, I, yeah. lo I love that guy and when we hung out it was great and i love him and, I, and mm -hmm. uh, you know that's how a lot of my friendships are there's a lot of people i haven't spoken to in a long time yeah. that you know if i saw them i would look them in the eye I'd tell them i love them i really do and that's yeah. how i feel and like look dude if you love this guy and you yeah. want to hang out with them and be friends with them then you know i i just mm -hmm. I, I i'm i'm frustrated right now because i don't i you're i don't see why you're complicating this so much i i understand i understand it's just hard um i think i i think that it's yeah i i get what you mean it's it's been a very like uh should i or should i not kind of thing um and i just like weigh like the pros and cons um but i think if i stop over complicating it like you know yeah. i like like you said i love the guy um you know okay. uh and i do miss him it's just uh, I just want to know how he's doing in terms of like if he yeah I, I think you get it like but, yes so this is the thing is you're running I, I guess what's it's you're running around in circles here mm -hmm. and it's like and it's like why I don't you're running around in circles around yourself like debating mm -hmm. whether or not you should send a text or hang out with a guy you're not getting married yeah. to this man yeah you know you're not committing it's like it's like, it's, it's, uh, you shouldn't drive yourself so crazy debating mm -hmm. whether or not to send a dude a text or hang out with him once. Yeah. You know, it's, it's a very low amount of commitment. Yeah. In your way. Yeah, yeah. I definitely am. I'm sorry. It's, uh, well, no, yeah. don't be sorry. I hope, don't be sorry. I hope that this conversation is, is helping you, uh, realize that. Yeah. No, I think I hope it's, it's, it's helpful to you not to be sorry. Yeah, it's it's no, it's really grounding. Uh, like I think, um, it, it, at least for me, and I think other people with like anxiety and shit will re uh, like agree. Is just like um, these kinds of uh, relationships we have with people. It's very easy to kind of fall into this trap of making it look and it make it feel like it's way more to deal with than it really is. Like when I could just be straight up with them and just you know, just reach out and say something or even just like get some lunch or some shit. Um, yeah, dude, no, it's you, like, it's, yeah. you, look, it, it, again, I, I hope, um, I hope if, if you, look, if you come away with anything from, from this mm -hmm. with anything, it's that, you know, um, brother, you're, you know, you're 21, like you can go, uh, you, you can, if you really want to, you can go make other friends. I hate this. I hate yeah. the mindset. You should, you should rid yourself of this mindset that you, uh, have to be friends with anybody because there's a shortage yeah. of people that will be your friend. You know that's yeah. That's one thing I I I would I I'd, I'd love to see you not be mm -hmm. walking around with in your head. Um, yeah. Well, I think and then, for and, me. And then the yeah, other thing but... is you're you're driving yourself crazy. And I can I can hear I can hear in your voice, especially the fact that you were like, you know, even the fact that you said you couldn't sum this up into two minutes. It, it's again, it's a decision of whether or not to. Send a dude yeah. a text, or, yeah. or 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 hang out with him. You're you're not debating whether or not to testify against him in court. Okay, yeah. you're not you're not debating <laughs> yeah. whether or not you want to um you know go with him to to rob a bank or anything like yeah. that. Okay, this is just whether or not you want to get lunch with a guy or shoot him a text. Mm -hmm. You know, it's not a it's not as life of and death of a thing as you're making yeah. it out to be. At least from my perspective. I, I'm, no, I'm stupid. Uh, I don't yeah. know shit, but that's just no, my no, 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 reaction you're, you're, to what you're telling me. Yeah, um, and I think I will clarify though with the. I think I might have kind of worded it wrong, but I, I think for me, I have a lot of friendships that I've known these people since like elementary school. Like, um, like I would say probably like fifty percent of my friends currently are people that I've known for over like ten to fifteen years. Um, that's great. 
So when I lose a friend like this, it, it's mm-hmm. very hard. And I, I don't think it's, I'm trying to say that like, oh, well, I want more friends. I want friendships that like that, where I've just known the person for well, so what do long. You mean by, what do you mean by you? Lo- how did you lose this guy as, as a friend? So he, how long has it been since you spoke to him? Probably like five years, five, six years. Five or six years? Yeah. Sorry, my time span might be messy, but it, it's. It's been quite some time since we've like actually like called and like spoken like voice. Bro, call um, fucking give give, the, give give this give this man a call. God, it's like right. it's yeah. weighing on your mind. It's weighing on your yeah. mind so heavily. Man. It give is. This man a call. Yeah. Just give him a call. Jeez, yeah. it's it's not a it's not a um again. It's this this is not you're not mm-hmm. com- you're not committing to a marriage with this man. Okay. You, yeah. You, if it's weighing on your mind so heavily, then yeah. You know, give a man a call. It's all right. Now, Mr. Geck, I have something to say, though. Uh, What's up, Pitman? You can No, just like, you know, you say that you're not, like, smart or whatever, and I do think it's good to preface, like, you know, you're not, like, licensed or whatever, but I do think you do a lot of good. Um, I think, Thanks, man. I appreciate that. Yeah. I don't know. You you probably hear that all the time, but, like... Well, uh, I, you know, I, well, I appreciate you. And what's your yeah. name again? Alex. Thank you, Alex. I've been, um, I've been. What's the word? Maybe terse with you over the course of this phone call. Oh, no, I don't no, no. Apologize no. for that. No, but I'm, okay. I'm, I'm, I'm invested in this, and mm-hmm. I can also, I can see your brain going crazy, and yeah. um, I'm hoping that uh, being terse with you has helped your brain to go no, less definitely. crazy. I know that. Yeah. And when I go crazy, I, I like somebody smacking me in the face and going, mm-hmm. "Dude, you're going crazy." Um, yeah. No, I appreciate you saying we say. I I say that stuff because, um, mm-hmm. you know, because when somebody clips me saying two contradictory things to somebody, which I'm mm-hmm. sure I do, I have I I have, um, what's the word? I have protection against myself. I can go. Yeah. I declared that I would. Yeah. I, I declared that I was stupid. Okay. Yeah, I it grants me immunity yeah. against all the stupid things that I say. No, but it's genuinely, I think, uh, at least for me, because I'm actually, I, I don't want to take up much more of your time, but no, you're good, um, uh, I'm like, one, I want to become a therapist in the future. Um, so like, I just graduated community college, and I'm about to go to like a university. So, um, you know, it's seeing like, it, I don't, it, this is like the most boomer show imaginable, but uh, have you heard of like Frasier? The TV show? Yeah, I know Frasier. I know, I've never yeah. actually watched an episode, but Dude, I know what Frasier is. Like, that show, it definitely kind of leans too much into, like, the posh humor, like, oh, we're rich, we can laugh about this kind of stuff. But right, just right. in terms of, like, having a show where you just you talk to people, uh, it's really powerful shit. You don't have to be a psychiatrist, Thanks, you know. It, it works. Some people just need, like, a friend to talk to. Um, well, like, thanks, man. Yeah, absolutely, man. What's your I'm name? glad I'm sorry, I, uh, I just asked you your name. Oh, sorry. Uh, my name's Alex, by the way. Alex. Yep. What were you going to say, Alex? Oh, uh, no, it's just, uh, like, genuinely, it's been really helpful, especially, like, Thanks, uh, you know, this is this is stuff I've talked to with actual therapists, and, you know, they've been helpful, but um, it, it coming from, like, a conversation like this, it almost can mean more, in my opinion, because it's just what like... Did the, I, do, tell me real quick, what did your real therapist tell you when you told them all this stuff? Um, I think... Well, for me, therapy is very more self-focused, so it was much more of a, like, um, kind of wanting to, like, I think they, I mean, at the end of the day, it really seemed like they kind of took the same approach, like, approaching why I want to have friends. Like, why am I, why am I, like, still feeling sore about this? Um, And for them, I think in the moment, like, they maybe we're trying to get me more to focus in on finding friends, like new friends, uh, people that I have more in common with, but they also didn't really say to like reach out to them. Um, because honestly for right now, I just want to reach out. And even if I don't fuck with them, like I still want to say like, I miss you. And like, you know, you are a huge part of my life. So, um, yeah, Yeah, dude, Uh, those two things don't drive your, don't drive yourself to sum this up. Don't drive yourself crazy. And don't walk around thinking that you have to be friends with anyone because there's some mm-hmm. scarcity of friends. Those yeah. two things. Um, Definitely. Well, thank you, Alex. Thank you for the kind words, and um, thanks for 
uh, dealing with me yelling at you. Is there anything oh, no, else no, you no, want no. to say to the people of um, the computer before we go? You know what? Just uh, make sure you're taking care of your mental health and, um, you know, just take steps to consider it, you know. Um, it doesn't even have to be therapy. Just go outside, take a breather, do something you enjoy, find more hobbies. Just take your time and... I just uh, I want to add to that. I want to add to that. Don't stay up until three o'clock in the morning browsing the Wikipedia page for human rights violations in Sudan, like I did last Yo, night. That is not dude, good for your mental top. health. Yo, up top, man. I've been watching. Uh, I've been watching deep sea videos. I stayed up till oh, five in the morning watching like deep sea oddities. That's a shout out right there. Sorry, uh, but it's like, dude, this account. It's just deep sea ROV footage. It's crazy. Um, like it's, that sounds it, better than it sounds amazing. Stuff. No, d definitely. Just whenever you're just watch, just, just find your interests. That, that's what I'll leave the people with. Find interests that make you happy. Um, yes. and hopefully but, those interests are not, um, people <laughs> fall, you know, so don't stay up, uh, until four o'clock in the morning watching people jump off of buildings on weird subreddits. Bye Alex. I'll yeah. talk to you soon, man. Thank Bye. you. Thank you so much. Bye. What a nice kid. He seems like he can still be saved. God is coming for all of us. I know this because I've talked to him personally and he told me as much. And uh, I think he's going to save Alex because he's a sweet guy. Thank you for calling, man. And thank you. Thanks for being nice to me. I appreciate it. Um, I hope things go good with your friend. Don't stay up until 4 o'clock in the morning um, reading about the financial crisis of 2008 on Wikipedia, which somehow leads you to the Wikipedia page for Spongebob Battle for Bikini Bottom on Xbox. All right. Call from... <laughs> to accept. Hello? How you doing? Doing all right. How are you? Doing good. Um, just wanted to, you know, say uh, first off, uh, I appreciate what you do. You know, just talking to average Joes and... Uh, and uh, how keeping the fish center vibe, you know. Great reference, Adult Swim's fish center. Appreciate rest it. In, rest in peace. Thanks, yeah, no man. Kidding. I'm fucking trying my goddamn best here to do whatever this is, man. I, I, I don't even know. But thanks, thanks for calling. Thanks for humoring me in this. In no, this you're endeavor. doing it. Appreciate it. Um. What's up, man? What's going on? Um, not much. Um, I'm a musician, sort of hitting the, sort of hitting a creative block right now. Um, but uh, other than that, uh, I got a dog, and he's pretty cool. Uh, why? What? What? Uh, what kind of creative block are we talking here? Uh, I don't know. I got um. I got all the gear I've ever wanted. Um, my boss at my workplace, he's got a mastering studio, and I just, um, I don't know. I can't seem to pump out tracks or whatnot. Hey, I have an idea. You know the, Be you know the Beatles? Yeah. Why don't you just do that? That's a real, yeah. I should. They they had a, they were pre, they were pretty successful doing that. Why don't you just do that? Yeah, yeah. They even had a they even had a movie or something. They did. They had they had a couple movies. They got pretty far doing that. What do you want to what what in the past? What have you written songs about? Um, I don't know. Just uh. Stuff about uh, anxiety and general in inner brain stuff, but uh, it's also like extreme metal, so you can't even really tell what I'm saying. Other than, I guess I made some post punk stuff. What uh, what kind? What are you having anxiety about? Uh, I don't know. I just um. It's sort of like a general anxiety about existing, I reckon. 
Yeah, existing is uh, crazy. I I think you know the thing about uh, having anxiety about just existing is um, I mean, look, I you know I understand that it's uh, painful, but I to I totally get it. I would be any people who don't have anxiety about existing. Um, I mean, I'm jealous of them. They they have uh, yes, I appreciate that. This this happy, beautiful ignorance. Um, and once you once you're aware of uh, the fact that you exist, hard to go back, hard to hard to uh, retain your ignorance. I mean, you could drink a lot, but that's ne- that's most doctors. I've never had a doctor recommend that to me. Weed's cool. I, I was gonna say I've never had a doctor recommend that, to, and I, which I haven't, but I do know that doctors recommend people. It's isn't that funny? There's no medical alcohol. Yeah. No doctor has ever alcohol has never been used for medication. Although I've heard it does numb pain. Yeah, I heard that as well. All right, try being the be. All right, you're gonna be the Beatles. You're gonna not do alcohol. Why are you anxious about existing? Is that even a question that you can answer? Oh, I've been trying to answer that for a minute um, with philosophy and stuff of that sort, but uh, can't you know? Can't really figure it out. Still, still. Looking, figuring it out. Maybe once I once I be, do the Beatles, maybe maybe they don't know. They seemed like they knew stuff, but I don't know if they I don't know if they really did. They imagined some stuff. They imagined some stuff. You can imagine the thing is you don't have to know anything, but you can imagine stuff all the time. Uh, I mean, I guess that's what you're doing. You're imagining songs. They didn't exist before, and you imagined them, and you made them real, whatever we, whatever real means. I mean, are you, like, afraid of Yeah, dying? I appreciate that. Um, yeah, I go back and forth on that. Existence gives you anxiety. I know, again, I know I'm not, I mean, I'm not a, therapist of any kind i'm a crazy guy on the internet but um no you're a gecko right i forgot i forgot that i was a gecko um hmm. no i really appreciate I like, all that well well i feel like i feel like a lot of the time when you're anxious about existing that's why i asked if you're afraid of death because i feel like a lot of the anxiety about existing is there's well, there's a there's a lot of things that could make you anxious about existing. There's uh, mm-hmm. okay, I exist. There's there's okay, I exist, and I know I'm gonna die at some point, and maybe I c- kind of come to terms with that, but I I'm anxious about what the hell to do in the meantime. Yeah, like I'm not trying to speed run it, but uh, I'm trying to you know get all the achievements I want. Okay, so are you anxious about not being able to get all the achievements you want? Uh, not really. Like, I don't have to be like a David Bowie or anything, but uh, you know, just um, it'd be nice to be a little more productive. Hmm. Um, what do you do when you're not being productive? Uh. Uh, substances. Okay. Uh, is that where the weed comes in? Yeah. Hmm. I'll tell you this from my own life. Um, I, I kind of struggled with what you're talking about for a long time of, uh, feeling like I always needed to be productive and, uh, always needed to be making stuff and doing things. And, um, my, I don't know if my, uh, you know, look, my ambition has gotten me to places that have been really beautiful, but also it's, it's, um, been a, been a, a, a sense of tormentation as well. Is that a word? It's an inch you got scratch. Yeah, it's been a tormenting thing, and I don't think it's worth tormenting yourself over. You know, I mean, there's I lots that. of... There's a lot of things that make life uh, worth living. 
that have nothing to do with making anything. You know, I mean, going for a friggin' walk outside is, is everything. Uh, you know, so... Yeah, I hear that. So... I'll, I guess if I could tell you from someone who's had the had the pressure um, for a long for you know a while probably for a long time, uh, you know it's not as um, integral to existence as maybe your brain is tricking you that it is. Yeah, I'm kind of, maybe I'm putting putting it on this uh, pedestal so it's the the job, I guess. Yeah, don't beat yourself up, man. Appreciate it. Oh, I have another idea. I have another idea. Yeah, what's that? Ask me what, ask me what the idea is. Have you ever heard of the band Pink Floyd? Yeah. Why don't you just do that? Oh, yeah. I'll just do that. I'll just do the Perfect. Pink Floyd and I'll do the Beatles. Perfect. This is the most successful phone call I have ever taken in the history of this show. Thank you so much. I appreciate being here for it. Anything Thanks for taking it. Say, anything else you want to say to the uh, people of the computer before we go? Um... I appreciate what this gecko is doing, and he's uh, a legend, obviously. I don't need to say it. Um, uh, Count for Duncan uh, out. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Take care, baby. I appreciate you. Thanks. To add on to that, I have been not uploading stuff onto uh, Instagram and TikTok and just playing um, Nintendo Switch instead. Feels great. Feels great.